All right, we're back. <clears throat> so, the party is in the stands, and they are going to watch some of the uh, bouts. Today. You guys hang around for a while, um, and eventually the arena master comes out. The crowd cheers, whatever, you know. <clears throat> and uh, he says, Ladies and gentlemen, farmers and filchers, peasants of all ages, welcome to the Lone Port Arena. A trio of gory goodness awaits your spectation. The desert sands cry out for blood, and we shall answer. And the crowd applauses. Ralph is like, Yeah! <laughs> Screaming because he's hammered. Yeah. We start our blood sport today with a creature feature, a knoll that we all love to hate versus a recent acquisition. We give you Dog Breath the Cowardly and Gordon Greengills, and the crowd cheap combatants are forcibly led into the arena. <laughs> yeah. And now we'll go to the map. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. Um, the arena master says, uh, To those who are about to die, we salute you! And all, everyone, everyone stands up and gives uh, the people a salute. Um, I guess, like, Ralph is, like, not understanding what's going on. He's like, ah! Kind of like, <laughs> no, Ralph sees everyone stand up. He, like, <laughs> he jumps up and spills his popcorn everywhere. <laughs> He's like, ah! Yeah. Okay, Beer in hand. You can't see the map at all? Nope. No, 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 uh, no. That would probably be because you don't have characters on the map, huh? Put us in the stands. But <laughs> it's so weird when I give the players all vision that they no, still, still can't see it work. unless they have... Yeah, let me try now. There we go. No worries. It's really weird. Like, I dragged you onto the map, you should just be able to see without having tokens or anything, but, okay. Can you guys see now what's going on? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, after that, um, <clears throat> the combatants are released from their shackles, uh, and the people that brought them out run back and combat begins. <laughs> We're chugging you, Leos. Kick his ass, sea bears. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, initiative. Gordon Greengills goes first. Um, so he sees that the knoll has a longbow. Um, and he'll do. Let's see. Five, two, three, four, five. Um, he runs behind the pillar here and gets full cover. The Knoll also runs behind this pillar over here and gets full cover. Pillar uh, on And yeah, it's going to be one of those, I guess. Um, the Knoll readies an attack action. Initiative. Doo -doo -doo, let's see. Uh, Knoll goes first, readies an attack action. And the uh, Gordon Greengills. God, how far is it to dash? Uh, okay. Yeah, he decides he's gonna go for it. He dashes towards him. Um, and the Knoll takes two shots at him. Well, one shot with a bow, sorry. Um, it's a ready to action. And misses. Gordon gets up to him, but cannot attack this round. Uh, initiative. The Knoll lets out a, a yipe. And, um... He's going to move back 30 feet. Let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, 20. Take an attack of opportunity. Uh, which is going to be a creature, um... Gordon claws at him. Hits him for three slashing damage. And then the Knoll takes two shots at him with his bow. 
Um, both of them hitting. 15 piercing damage. Uh, and the target speed is reduced by 10. <laughs> okay. Until the end of the next turn. Okay. Initiative. It looks like uh, Dog Breath might clutch it again. We'll see. That reduced speed. Uh, Gordon goes first. 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, he, he has reduced speed, so like he can't get up to him without dashing. Um, which he's gonna do. He dashes towards him. Um, and that's gonna be it. Dog Breath is out for blood and makes uh, two melee attacks at him with his spear. Uh, first one hits for three piercing. Uh, and <laughs> Gordon's not looking good. Uh, and then the spear, the second one gets a natural one, uh, but recovers flawlessly. Um, and that's initiative. Dog breath goes first and continues to try and end this fish man's life. Natural one again. Mm. Uh, recovers, recovers fine, and then, and then a seven. So two misses. Um, holy shit, Gordon! Uh, Gordon desperately tries to take out this knoll. Um, <laughs> he try he uh, uh, bites at him, which misses, and then he tries to spear at him, and also misses. Both oh my them. god! Initiative. <laughs> Gordon goes first. All right. Uh, he bites the knoll in its neck for two damage, um, and it starts to bleed everywhere. And then he like lets out this war cry and spears him through the chest for two more. Uh, but the knoll is not quite down. Looks awful though. And then the knoll takes a series of melee attacks. First spear is a miss. Second one brings him down. <laughs> Sticks the fucking fish man in his neck and he dies. <laughs> the crowd cheers. For Dog Breath the Cowardly. Another win. Fourth win for Dog Breath. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Ralph's hype. He's like, Fuck yeah. Dog Breath is like, Rear! <laughs> <laughs> Throw some popcorn at him. Mm hmm. The arena master tries to bring everyone to a quiet and says, A wonderful end to a perfect beginning! Dog Breath wins to fight another day! And the crowd, you know, freaks out. <clears throat> now it wouldn't be a successful day in the Lone Port Arena if we didn't have an execution! The crowd freaks out again. <laughs> you know him well, folks! He was the monster that roamed our streets for weeks. He broke into our homes and stole our hard-earned wealth and murdered our children. The crowd, boo, boo, like flipping them off and throwing shit. Can we roll a hit for a rock at him? Uh, he's not out yet. They're like, okay. going to bring him out soon. And he's like, I know, I know. But today, he gets his just desserts. And the crowd, yeah, yeah, they're freaking out, you know. Cheering viciously. For victory or death, I give you Cutthroat Clyde and his executioner, a fan favorite, Shockreth the Bloodthirsty. And they're escorted out. I need to get rid of these other two. If you want, you can try and throw something at him now. <laughs> um, that's up to you. One of, uh, one of Rolf's empty, sure, uh... Yeah. Empty cups of beer. Yeah. <laughs> Empty solo cups. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. What, what Minus you... 20 to hit. <laughs> you hit him with you know, whatever food stuffs you have or something. <laughs> or funnel <Please>. cake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he takes a bite out of it and it flips you off. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, yeah. Uh, the crowd's, you know, exploding with applause. They're also throwing, like, banana peels at him and shit. 
Um, and yeah, same thing. To those who are about to die, we salute you! And, you know, salutes them, and, um, they're released from their shackles. Again, it's three to one odds against Clyde. No one's really thinking he has a chance here. He's armed with a scimitar and a light crossbow. Um, this big ass motherfucking orc has a battle axe um, and plate mail. Some sort of plate armor. So, initiative. Uh, Clyde goes first. He, uh,. Gets behind this pillar, takes a shot with his light crossbow, pings off the orc's armor as he charges towards him. Um, I believe he can get up to him, no problem. Yep. Charges forward, won't be able to attack. Oops, there we go. And initiative. I don't think Clyde is going to get out of this one. Uh, Clyde goes first, takes a slash at the orc with his scimitar, actually hits him. For two slashing damage. Um, and then the orc lets out a growl and brings this battle axe down on Clyde's neck. Decapitating him. <laughs> oh my god! I was not expecting that. Two <laughs> oh. shots, Clyde! Oh. The crowd freaks out! Yes! Fuck you, Clyde! You're so happy. <laughs> You know, blood is spurting from his neck. Rump's like, oh, still going down the drain. Uh, he picks up the head and hucks it at the audience. Oh, you, you bet on the orc, didn't you? No, I bet on Chalkreth. Oh. Yeah, Chalk no, Chalkreth won. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, I thought the other dude was, okay. Chalkreth the bloodthirsty is uh the orc. Oh. And I got him. Didn't you bet on both? I thought one of those you bet on two no, different people. I it's bet on, on lions and three. dick. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> down goes Clyde! And the crowd rejoices, of course. <clears throat> That's two great shows so far with one to go. Our next combatant is a man you all know well. A bloviator and a showman making his debut appearance in Bloodsport. I give you Tricky Dick. And Tricky Dick walks out onto the sands as the crowd rejoices, kind of like half-heartedly, actually. Oh yeah, great. It's Tricky Dick. Uh, let's drag him out. And we got also our lions as well. Um, did you you bet on uh, both sides of this? Is that what you did? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. We asked Tricky if he could take on a lion in single combat. He laughed and said, make it three. The crowd cheers in anticipation of <laughs> what they probably assume is not going to be good for Tricky Dick. Um, the lions are ushered out angrily into the arena. Is Tricky Dick a lion breaker? Or will the lions make him eat his words? The crowd jeers and puts thumbs down. Um, they clearly do not have much confidence in Tricky Dick's ability to kill three lions. Ralph, what do you think? Oh, Ralph's hoping he gets ripped apart. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph doesn't give a shit. He's drunk as fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to those of you about to die, we salute you! And everyone does the Ooh. same thing. Yeah. Could we get away with casting a spell on the lions from this far? Would anyone in the crowd oh. know? Um... You don't know. You can certainly try. Uh, alright, now... You don't see was... anyone watching you. Um... No, I'll, I'll pocket that. Actually, no, I'll test it out for now. Uh, just oh, keep going with the battle, and I'll, I'll, I'll jump in when necessary. Okay. <laughs> um... The lions are restrained, and um, the people get away from them, and then just let go of their their shackles and get the fuck out as quickly as possible. And initiative. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Uh, first lion goes. These guys have pounce. 
So they can move 20 feet and then... Or no, it's running leap. Yeah, they can move 10 feet and then jump 25 feet. Uh, so 5, 10... So it can, like, jump this no problem. Yeah, so it jumps it. It just jumps over this fucking th hole in the ground and dashes towards him. Um, the bandit captain, or sorry, that's not his name. That's what I'm using as a stat block. Uh, tricky Dick makes a couple of attacks at him. Um, two with his scimitar and one with his dagger. The first scimitar attack is a natural one. Okay, he drops his scimitar. Oh my god. Um, it's happening, and boys. Then, and then, <laughs> uh, instead of that, makes two dagger attacks. Um, and uh, I'll let him pick his scimitar back up. Um, if he doesn't make any movements or anything like that. Which he won't. Uh, so he actually lands two attacks on the lion with his dagger. So, like, sticks him twice with this nasty dagger. Um... For 13 piercing. Lion seems visibly annoyed by that. Um, the other lion you know, dashes towards him as well. These things have pretty good movement, so it can get over to him no problem. Yeah. So they all dash towards him here. Um, <laughs> and he's like encircled by this lion pack. <laughs> Initiative. Uh, action economy, boys. <laughs> Alright, can I roll initiative for this round? For the person passing sure. the spell? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this lion goes first, so for pounce, they have to move 20 feet in a straight line. Um, so, actually, what it's going to do is move 5, 10, 15, 20. It's going to take an attack of opportunity from his scimitar. Uh, it does, hits it for four slashing, and then it uh, pounces towards him. Um, and he needs to make a strength saving throw or be prone. No, he fails. So he's knocked prone, um, and the lion can make a f bonus action bite attack as well as a claw attack now. Oh. Uh, yeah, and it does it at it does it at um, advantage because it's within five feet of other lions. <laughs> Just one bonus. Uh, so the claw attack hits him for six slashing, and then the bite attack misses against the prone target. This lion will just make a you know, series of attacks against a prone target. Claw and bite. Um, the claw hits for four, and the bite attack, natural 20s, like, <laughs> rips into his leg really bad for nine, piercing. Uh, and then, yeah, he goes, so he uses half his move to get up, um, and makes a series of attacks at this lion here. Uh, miss, hit, miss. Yeah. Nice one. Um, so he hits it for seven slashing damage. They don't even have that good of AC, my dude. Uh, you go next, Pride. Um, so I want to look around to see if everyone's focus is on the fight. Alright, there's no, like, I don't see any big, like, maybe people that are... Like sentries, maybe they're looking for specifically for interference. Give me a perception check. But am I blind, dude? Uh, you see some guards, but I mean, you're not sure that they would be familiar with your magic, right? Okay. Like, that, um, like they're watching you that closely. Like, so what is it? What does your magic require? You to do. Um, so I'm thinking of casting Shield of Faith on the guy. Okay. It's so 60 feet, so yeah, I don't even know if he's like... Is it verbal, somatic, or what? Uh, verbal, somatic, and material. Okay. Um, a small parchment. 
Okay. Um, you, I mean, it's a pretty raucous crowd, right? Like, there's right. a lot of people here. You probably can get away with it. Um, you know, it's, even if you said something, like, most people wouldn't be able to hear you. Um, what what is the material? It's just a piece of paper. Piece of paper with holy text. Yeah, like it doesn't matter. Like you pull out a piece of paper and you wave your hands a little bit, you probably won't get caught, right? All right, sweet. So, but the it's problem is, like, does is the effect noticeable? Like, well, people are like, what the fuck is on his chest or something, right? But I, I don't care if that happens. Since, yeah, I'm, I'm committing. A shimmering field appears <laughs> around the. Yeah, it's noticeable. Mm. Um, sweet. So you want to do that? Yes, please. Plus two AC. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Well, that's my bonus action. As my action, I, I want to. Um, can I bless him too? I don't Is that? Choose. Um, you oh, can that's cast, thirty feet. That's you can cast too far. a cantrip spell on top of a bonus action spell. Uh, I have no as a paladin, okay. so that's you'll have to wait until next round. Okay. Um, the final lion, the one that's been attacked a couple of times. Um, it's going to try the same trick. It's going to try and make him prone again so they can get a bunch of free attacks out. Uh, it will take an attack of opportunity, swings at him with a scimitar, hits him for another four, and he pounces back, roaring at the uh, tricky dick guy, and he needs to make me another strength saving throw. Knocked prone. Uh, yes, he gets exactly what he needs. So he holds fast. The lion bites at him and misses. Um, there is like a shimmering magical field now around him. Um, it's it's like invisible until something tries to attack him. Like you know, the claws rake against this like slightly visible magical field. Oh, nice. All right, so initiative again. Yep. And did does my party notice what I'm doing? Um. Yeah. They do. Definitely. Okay. And anyone next to you, like whoever's sitting next to you, so um, Ralph notices and Clark definitely notices because you're like next to him. You like, they're both magically inclined individuals. Do they have any? Mumbo, like mumbo jumbo. Huh? <laughs> do they have any comments on what I've done, or they're just like, fuck it? Dude. Do you? <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. Now he'll suffer longer. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So, uh, uh, <laughs> he's, okay. He's he's going to die, and uh, and also, don't get yourself banned from the city. Um, the uh, tricky sure. dick fella tries to take out the lion that is wounded, makes a couple attacks with his scimitar and his dagger, miss natural one, it's recover. Himself. Nope, no, it's a perfect recover, no problem. Uh, and then sticks him with the dagger, however, for five more. That is not going to bring him down. The lion is not brave enough to take another attack of opportunity. Um, instead, it's just going to make a bite attack at him, which is a natural 20. That is a hit for sure. 14 piercing. Ouch. Uh, second lion goes. This lion will pounce. Uh, it will take an attack opportunity, which is a hit. Uh, pounces at him. He needs to make a strength save. No, he falls prone. The lion makes two attacks at advantage. Claw hits for five slashing. Bite misses because... Oh, you know what? He actually parries... The claw attack, he takes no damage on that. Just barely parries that. And then the bite attack is a miss because of your shield. So like, like this does, magic energy holds fast. Does the crowd go like, <gasps> like do they yeah, notice? Defi definitely they, oh, hell yes. they definitely notice something's afoot. Um, but they're even more excited by that. You know, it's something strange and new. Okay. Um this lion. Um, he is still prone, so it makes a couple attacks at him. The claw, uh, he cannot parry again, so hits him for nine slashing. Oh, boy. And then it bites at him as well uh, for eight piercing. All right, your turn, Pride. 
Um, all my spells are fucking touch. So, um, can I ready a help action from all the way over here by chanting his name? <laughs> nope. <laughs> all right, yeah. You can so jump into the arena and try and defend him. And you can do no, I don't think I'll do that. I think I'll fast that one. But I'll throw a rock at the lions. If, wait, I still look around. Are people throwing shit still or no? No. All right, then I'll, I'll um, ready an action if a lion climbs to the stands. Okay. That's what I'll do. That seems unlikely, given the spike, but... Yeah, uh, that's too much else. Yeah. Alright. Do you want to roll initiative or no? No, I'm done with combat. Okay. I'll probably so is he, if he rolls a 6 here. Um, because that makes him prone for the entire round. Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, the claw attack will hit. Can't parry that. The bite attack he can parry. Um, gets it, you know, sticks its teeth with his weapon, barely holds it off. So he just takes five from the claws. Um, second lion. Claws him for seven, bites him for six. Um, yeah, and just rips his fucking chest cavity open. And they begin to feast on his body. Oh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, rip chicky dick. <laughs> and the crowd's fucking yes! You're yes! So happy. Yes! Just like yes! <laughs> and the arena Parks master comes up. Shaking his head. And down goes Dick! <laughs> I sure am glad I didn't bet on those lions. The crowd kind of like chuckles. Our final show for tonight will be a showman match between two beloved favorites of the arena, Thorin Battleborn and Farik Silent Step. And uh, the crowd, you know, they stand up, clap as the two combatants enter the arena and shake hands. Um, so this is a sh quick showman match, which is what kind of what you're trying to do. Actually, that name is one that you were given, right? Like, that's the guy you were said you were going to fight? Uh, that Thorin guy? Yes. Leave Thorin is then in. So this is a good way for you to maybe assess what he's working with. Okay. Um, yeah. So they, like, approach. Um, they shake hands. Tell me what you're working with. Yeah. Uh, Arena Master, you know, speaks up, says, Fight well and hard! Just don't kill each other! And, uh, yeah. So... They're going to go at it. Let's uh, do initiative again. One, two. Do you want to roll again? Do you want to like pick a favorite? No. Since I mean, nothing happened, did the crowd or did the guards even react to that? Or no one get it about that? No, no one seemed... Uh, I mean, yes, they definitely reacted. But um, the guy that they were going to blame is now dead. Oh, oh, okay. You know what yeah, I mean? Definitely. Like, I'm definitely cheating, rolling this now. Yeah. Cheating piece of shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> For sure, I'm rolling this. Yeah, you just did. Can you, you ping the one that's, um. So, you guys, um. Oh, uh, fuck, man. Uh, Clark and Byron, mm -hmm. you had a companion very similar to this guy. That looks like your, uh. Your, uh. I don't even remember what his name was anymore. Swift Bear. Looks like one yeah. of his race. So the other guys oh, are right? fast bear. Yeah. Yep. All right, so uh, you go first. I'll, um, I'll pass this turn. But the bottom one is Thorn, right? Just to be clear. Yes, yes, Just, yes. Okay, yes. yeah, I'll pass this turn. So. Okay. Sweet. Um, so he goes first. Um, he has a heavy crossbow and a long sword. So he's going to move, let's see, five down. He'll move around here and take a couple of, uh, or just one crossbow shot. Rather, it's a heavy crossbow. Uh, yeah, snipes him. Actually, does hit him for six piercing. Pretty good. Uh, can you see their HP totals or no? Nope. Okay. Sweet. Um, this guy, Farik. 
Let's see, he's gonna move back 5, 10, 15, 20. Move back here. Takes a couple of sh shots with his longbow. Right? Yep, two longbow shots. That is not gonna do it. 12 and a natural one with an easy recover uh, initiative. Go ahead, uh, Pride, you wanna reroll? Um, this guy is wearing some pretty heavy armor. Uh, it is splint mail, whereas this cat boy only has um, like leather armor. Pride, did you wanna reroll? Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, so, yeah, he is happy where he's at, takes a couple more shots at him. Um, they're not going to clear that armor class, at least not very easily. Uh, go ahead, Pride. Um, okay, yeah, I, I want to cast again a magic armor on this guy, Thorn. But my, what I'm going for is, like, uh, I don't know if this will happen, but he'll probably win anyways, but they'll accuse him of cheating and put him in probation. So if he gets killed in another flight, maybe it won't be as mad. See what happens, I guess. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna cast the same magical armor on this dude, the uh, plus yes. two AC. Yes. All right. Got it. Um, it's only visible if he gets like you know hit yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Okay. We're almost hit or hit. Well. Like, you know, if, if something gets close to hitting him, like if it would have hit him, close. but instead your armor is defending him, or if he does get hit or something, you'll see like a ripple of energy. Okay. But if someone shoots at him, it's like wide, it will never show, basically, is how we're doing it. Um, so he's making a show of it, right? Like the guy's shooting arrows at him, he's like dodging and you know, like running towards him. Um, um, and he gets here, which isn't quite close enough. And takes another, you know, like gets close up to him, takes a shot with his heavy crossbow again, and it's a natural 20. Nails him for 10 piercing. And initiatives. You guys, if you want, you can interfere. Mm, no. I'll roll again, but I don't think I'll do I feel much. like going to jail. <laughs> um, okay, the furry friend is uh, a little bit more dexterous than the the fighter, so he's gonna back up uh, and take a couple more shots with his longbow. That's a natural twenty and a twenty. That's two hits. Yeah, furry fool. <laughs> so seventeen damage. Nice. That's a good hit. Um. Pride, sorry, you were technically going first. Did you want I to mean, do something? I mean, no, 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 no. I'll skip. Okay. Fun. Got it. So, um, yeah, he, like, makes a show of, he, like, got hit hard, you know? He's, Ugh! Like, rips out the arrows and charges in. Um, does close in melee and makes a couple of longsword attacks at him. Um, actually, drops his bow draws a long sword and a short sword and makes a series of attacks the long sword strikes twice and the short sword misses um, so he takes 11 more slashing damage initiative if you actually care to no no nah, nah, I've already done my piece and done but... okay well your piece is kind of a lot plus two AC is pretty significant table turning some might say yeah something like that uh yeah so he goes again thorin just goes again makes a couple more uh long sword and short sword attacks the long sword hits twice and the short sword misses again uh 15 more so like they're like dancing you know dodging sticking the furry a couple of times there um he rounds the sky, and uh, what can he do? I think he can make a couple of scimitar attacks. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, so he uh, drops his bow, draws his scimitar, and uh, engages in melee with him. That is two misses, however. This is probably not 
the right choice for him. Um, he's gonna try again. A um, couple scimitar attacks. That one hits for nine. Gets through his armor. Um, and then, yeah, the fighter makes a couple of attacks. Three hits. Slash, slash, pierce with the short sword. 22 more damage. Okay. Initiative. Um, yeah. He is going to... Gra yeah. Grab his bow. Um, sheath his weapons and then make a move. Here. And this guy follows. Uh, makes a couple of attacks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Five. Okay. And initiative. The uh, the fighter is putting in work on the cat man. Like significant work. Wow. Yeah. Because I'm the cat man. Um, but meow, this meow, time meow, he like meow. makes a swing at him with his long sword, accidentally um, drops the long sword, and the catman swipes the weapon and it falls down into this pit. Uh, so he's left with just a short sword and a crossbow, heavy crossbow. Um, he still makes an attack with a short sword, which does hit for six piercing. The crowd cheers when the cat succeeded in doing that. Um, Cat's gonna go for it. He's gonna take an attack of opportunity from the short sword and move away. Um, that's a miss. And then the cat takes a couple of longbow shots. Natural 20 and 17 is not quite gonna do it because of your bullshit, cheap magic shit. Uh, and initiative. At this point, the old man draws his crossbow, um, rounds about here, and takes a shot with it at the cat man missing. And the cat man responds in kind with a couple of longbow shots, one of them hitting. And this probably is the final round of initiative. They're both pretty beaten up here. The old man, uh, like, makes a show, like, runs forward, tries to, like, do some sweet running shot with a crossbow. Um, that actually does, <laughs> it does hit. Like, some Run matrix shot. shit. <laughs> yeah. Hit fire and crossbow. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's he hits him for seven more piercing. Um, and the cat man. Hmm. Nope, he, he's he's feeling like he can make the other guy surrender. Uh, so he's going to back up, take a couple more longbow shots, neither of them hitting. Okay. Uh, nope. They both want to go again. But they're both really low. All right, he goes up 5, 10, 15. Does the same thing. Um... Oh, he doesn't get this close. He'll like, he doesn't want to just use his short sword, so he's going to take uh, another shot at the cat. The crossbow hits him for another 10. <whistles> and they're both looking pretty bad. Nope. Farik is uh, a stalwart fighter. He's going to take a couple more shots. Uh... And both of them missing. Nope. Uh, they both should have yielded by now. I, I, they both should have yielded by now. Um, he takes a couple more shots, and uh, you hear him say, Just surrender, you old man! Two more longbow shots. Ooh, nails him for ten piercing. Um... And with that, the man drops his bow. I yield! I yield! The thorn yielded? 
Yeah. Two <laughs> pen. <laughs> well, you got lined up with the weakest fighter for a reason, my dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, and the crowd, you know, cheers and cheers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Farik, Farik. You know, chanting his name. Um, and uh, the Rean Master closes, you know. That's all we've got for you today. Thank you for coming out. We've got a wild set for you next week that you won't want to miss. So be there. And, you know, everybody starts Sunday, to funnel out. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah, it's Sunday. Oh, that's my party. Do any of you guys know magic armor? I'm thinking when I fight the word next week, you could cast it on him. And then, um, whatever happens, happens. It might be I'll be justified to go all out. What do you guys think? If they catch him, if they think he's cheating, right? I think you're really pushing it. These things are pretty rigid about that kind of stuff. Yeah, I think we're not going to pay your bail if you do that. All right, fine. I'll, I'll think about it. I think you you're capable though. enough fighter to take him on. All right, so, um, you guys have a week to kill in town before the uh, matches. So, is there anything you want to do, or do you want to just kind of kick it? Uh, I want to go scream at that. I want to go talk very nicely to that one lady. What lady? The artifact lady. Okay. Magic, magic man. Magic ma'am? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Magic m'lady. I think her name was mm. Ethel? Something like that. Uh, yeah, so you go back to the magic shop. Um, and uh, you're pretty beaten up, right? Like you're at half HP or, or no? Like 60? No, nah, like 60. Like 60%. Yeah. I'm, at, I'm basically at 100, so. Oh, okay. Uh, she says... Uh, well, well, well. Seems that you uh, sparred quite hard. Uh, do you know if, if curse items still work even if you're not equipping them? Is that a, a thing that happens? That's certainly possible. The armor... Uh, mm, cursed items have a way of attaching to the one who attunes to them. So if I were to sell this to you, would that break the curse or am I just... <laughs> Don't have the armor, and I have the curse, too. No, no, no. Uh, it wouldn't hurt, of course, selling me the armor. Uh, the further away you are from cursed items, uh, with your penchant to use them, the better. Uh, if you believe that you're cursed, I could, uh, I could attempt to remove the curse, for a fee, of course. I know this one um... fries ear. Clark can do it for free. And if you <laughs> unattune to the armor, you just use it without attuning to it. It's still or, plate mail. Or you can sell it to her. Okay. Yes, I can um, it for you. I'll ask her, does she have any other uh, enchanted armor? Yeah. I'll, I'll think about the, um, the curse, but... No enchanted armor on hand at the moment. Okay, thanks. I'll, I'll probably come by tomorrow. I'll go to you about the curse for selling it. Thank you. That sounds good. Okay. Just sell uh, it to her already. Alright, okay. can you so, uncurse me, Clark? Please. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'll do it in the end. Sure. Uh, you cast Remove Curse on him. And I'll take the armor off and whatever. Garbage. Not attuned to it. Okay. Uh. Yeah, sure. You can do that. So wait, how do I wear it without attuning to it? Because aren't I like, aren't you attuned to it once you put it on for a couple of hours? Isn't that how that works or no? Um. I like spend time with it, get to know it, take it out to a nice dinner. So if I just wore it around? No, 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 no. You can hold on to magical items and not attune to them. Like, that's a purposeful thing you do. It's like you focus on the magical energies and try to, like, bind it to your soul. Oh, uh, okay, then, yeah, I'll just wear it and not not take it up to dinner. Or put it... Sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah, 
I think we'll uh, I'll spar Pride one more time to make sure that the curse isn't affecting him. Okay. Okay. Do you want to do that now? Yeah, I'm I'm sure. to use. Yep. Okay. Go ahead. I'll start with uh, rip ears. This says piercing damage. Mm -hmm. That doesn't hit. Um, I mean, I'll just, can I just roll this advantage or something? The opposite of Oz action, is that a thing? Or just, just keep going to you? If you just sit there, you can let him hit you. Yeah, I'll let you. Yeah. Um, I have to roll the damage, though. Yeah. It's uh, 1d12 or 1d8 plus 4? Yes. Okay. Uh, you take 7 piercing damage. Alright, so it's normal. It was like a weak blow. Just like no. <laughs> oh, damn! It <laughs> feels reasonable, I'll, yeah. I'll take your Gladius and uh, do some slashing damage next. And I'm just going to use the right beer macro. Yeah, it's 1d8 plus whatever. Is it, um, slashing what? damage? Um, actually, yeah. no. I, we made a special sword sword that, yeah. a sword sword that does piercing. Right. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, then I just punch, I'm just gonna start punching you. Okay. Start boxing, so you don't have to worry about, like, the hammer damage or whatever. Sure. Okay. Um, I'll, you can just deal damage, so, um... It's temporary damage, so you deal one point of damage. <laughs> you just start, yeah, Great. you, yeah. Your punches, um, are dealing normal damage. Okay, it's good to know. Yeah. Peter Do you have a greatsword or something? Damage. Do you want to get hit by a greatsword? Yeah, I'd take one, one hit. Let's just go ahead and roll that up and see how... I should survive that, I have enough... Fine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unless he takes the double damage. damage again, it takes like sixty fucking damage. <laughs> this is uh, fine. It's a miss. No, I mean I can just let you hit me. Oh, I'll, you know what? I'll take that one. But it doesn't matter. He rolls damage. Yeah. I'm gonna hide this one though. Um, you take thirteen slashing damage. It's pretty high. Uh, okay, it's not, not forty this time. All right, I'll... I think it's working, boys. I think we're. I think. Okay. Cool. And before he goes in the ring, he takes forty damage from Thorin, the old man. <laughs> well, the good news is it's a showman match, so he probably won't die. And before he gets one hit in a showman match. <laughs> Thorin. I'm pretty beat up. I'm gonna go rest my fight for the rest of the week. Okay. All right. Um, if you're gonna just sit around all day, every day you can get two HP back. Okay. Every day, all of you can. Uh, if you want to get some medical help, you know, like you pay a doctor. Um... No, I flip, no, I have like a hand sewn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you're just gonna self heal. The whole yeah. Way. I mean, seven days times twenty five. I'll have more than enough to. Yeah. Back up. And uh, enough to heal the rest of your party up as well. If they're damaged. Yeah. And we get what seven hit die back? Seven fatigue points. <clears throat> yep, uh you guys get seven hit die back. Um if you're down HP you can add that. Seven fatigue points. Mm-hmm. So let's go to Am I just assuming you're gonna heal me up? Uh my yeah. missing forty points. Alright. Yes. Yeah. Ralph got his blueberry pie. Mm-hmm. I guess I'll spend the seven days just making a bunch of, uh, using up those, uh, what you call it, making the alchemist fire and the, uh, oils of vitriol. Okay. I think I said it was the fifth, or did I say it was the fourth? I think you said it was the fifth. Fourth? I think... Yes. <clears throat> I, I, I don't remember. It, it doesn't uh, matter. It, it, right? Uh... One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we'll say it's the f we'll just say it's the fifth. Um, okay. And actually, the night before the fight, let me know. I want to do something after Byron's done. Sorry. 
Okay. Uh, so, you want to, like, on the 4th, what do you want to do? Yeah, sure, we're there. Wait, Byron, are you done with what you wanted to do? I didn't yep. know you want. what did you want to do? Did you want to oh, deal I with the alchemy right now? Something. Uh, I don't have to roll for it. Uh, these are just the uh, mundane ones that I could automatically make. Yeah. Um, yeah. You check in with her periodically. She tells you... Um, she didn't... Well, maybe she did, actually. Let me see. Yeah. It's also like a whole head, so that's well, probably not cool of things. Well, it's, it it's... Well... Where the fuck did I put that? What was it? Yeah. White? Yeah, a white. Yes. It's, or whatever monster that was that was guarding the uh, first <clears throat> book. Exactly. Um, the, uh, yeah. Tower. Okay. She uh, finds that the uh, heart of the white has um, very strong constitution properties, um, like energy properties. Uh, I know that you, like, we haven't developed that uh, potion of indomitable constitution, but it is a, it's a substitute for that. Like, it's one of the primary ingredients of that. Mm. So, um, she yeah. used it. However, it is, uh, it's. Yeah. I wrote that down on the sheet that it's a substitute. Uh, instead of heart of zombie, you can have heart of white. Hmm. And she used the entire heart? She couldn't actually, like, take a sample and test it? No, the way I use it is, like, when we run experiments, you use the ingredients. All or nothing. Okay. Yeah. I have a spare anyways, so... I don't know. Okay. Um... Where the fuck... Where was that? Um... Oh. Yeah, um... In the head, 